All right, so now that we have results from our survey, we want to try to create a document. We want to find a way to send out the results to the students. So what we have is that for every single question, there's a, the question is listed at the top, the same question as what was on the survey. So question one lists three things over here. Question one lists three things. Um, and all of the students' results are down here, down below them. So we want to take each individual row, which has got all of that one student's results all the way across, and put that into a document. So how do we do that? We're going to create a template document. So for that, we go to our Google Drive. So you can open any Google Drive and say new Google Doc. So here's a bland, brand new blank Google Doc. And we can format this document however we want to. I might call it Bill Nye the Moon Feedback. So that's the. this is what the students are going to see. Um, in the document title, it's really cool. If you click up here, it will automatically fill that in. So we knew that, oh, you type that as a title, must go up here. But in the main title, I'm going to be sure to include the word template because that way I know when I'm looking through my Google Drive that this is a template, that this is not a document that has actual answers in it. It's just the template that we're going to be using. So Bill Nye and the Moon Feedback. So now, for example, we want to have, probably it's a good idea to have the student's name up at the top so we know whose results these are. Um, when you're doing that, you have on your spreadsheet a column that had the student's username. So in that username column, it will have each of the student's names. So this up at the top, this can be our tag. This is how we're going to connect our, our template over here to our spreadsheet. So we're going to put our username on the document. So the way we create a tag is we're going to use the angle brackets. So this is, if you hold down the shift key above the comma, we got the two brackets and I'm going to put username. And I'll close those with two brackets at the end. So that whole thing together, that's a tag. So whatever is in the column here with that data is going to fill in automatically into our template. So the name, the username will pop up in that space. So and we're going to do this now for every single one of the questions. So when we have the questions, we're going to then fill in with that student's data all the way across the top. So for example, we want to now put down, let's we probably we could just start putting in tags. We want to have the question in there. So let's say, all right, question one. So I can copy and paste from the spreadsheet. I could copy and paste from where I was editing the form. I could copy and paste from the actual form. Um, but so I'm going to copy and paste. Here's the question. Control C and paste it. If I just do Control V, this is just a random tip. It makes it very small. That was the same font size as on the spreadsheet. So what I if I do instead Control Shift V. Now it's going to take on the properties of the new document. So control shift V. Yeah, it looks nice. All right. So listing three things you knew about the moon that were confirmed. So now I need to have make a tag that will link the results from the spreadsheet into this document. So I could call the tag whatever I want to. I can call it banana. I can call it anything. I recommend give it something that's useful. If your questions are short, you could just go with three things you know about. The, you could do the entire thing list, three things you know about the moon. All is one word. I might just say, why don't I just do question one? So I'm going to use the two brackets, question one, and close the brackets. One thing with Autocrat, which is what we'll end up being using, it doesn't like it if the tag starts with a number. That, for some reason, messes it up. So you, no matter what it is, that tag will give it an error. So it's better to put question one or Q1 as your tag. So I've got question one, and that's going to then print out the student results. Because I tab it in, the student's results are going to be tagged in. Tabbed in. I could have put it here at the space. I could have put it right at the end. Wherever I leave that tag, that is where the student's results are going to fill in. And it would help too if I spell a question right. Q U E S T. What? Oh, it just doesn't know because it's got the one at the end. All right. And I can do, oops, I'll do the same for question two. I'm copying Control Shift V, pasting it. All right. Question two. And doesn't that, you could have spaces. Spaces are okay, but I prefer to put them all together. And then question three. I want to show you question three because question three is multiple choice. The moon blanks around the earth, and then the students only have the two choice. They can choose rotates or revolves. So they want to know, did they choose the right answer or not? So what I might say with this one, when I'm putting out where the tag is going to go, I might add some more detail. So your answer. So the student answered this for question three. This is what they typed in. But the correct answer, so answer was, oh, but we don't need a tag here. That was my mistake. We don't need a tag because for every single student, the correct answer is going to be right. So the moon, does it revolve or rotate around the earth? It revolves. So, so that way the student will be able to compare their answer and say, oh, did I say revolves? Yes, I said revolves. Or, oh, I said rotates. It's actually revolves. So they'll be able to compare it. 
So that one, so whatever is typed here that's not inside brackets, that's going to be the same for every single student. That's going to be the template. Um, so now this all, so you would continue this process for the rest of the for the rest of the questions. One thing I do want to say is that you can change the format of this however you want to. Because right now a student might not be sure what they're reading, so you could change the color. Hey, your answer here. Let's put it in blue or something, or we'll put the correct answer in red or green, or let's make the questions bold. However you want to do it, that formatting will appear on the student's final document, which is actually kind of nice. So if you're, you put the tag all in blue, the whole thing in blue, then the student answer will show up in blue. Um, so sure, you can, put it, you can put it green, you can put it red, you can underline, however you'd like to do it. I often, I choose blue because it pops out a little bit, but not too much. And that way you can tell us contrast, like, oh, that must be what I type. That's something that catches your eye. I'm sure I'll put the name there as well. But yeah, you can make the title extra large, well, it's gonna be whatever you'd like to do. But however you format things, this is how it will end up showing up for the students. So I'm gonna now go through and finish the rest of this, but now you should hopefully be able to get started with making your own template.